So, welcome to biology lectures. Biology made easy. So, in this lecture today, I'm going to discuss about the differences between B cells and T cells, beta lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. So, point number one B cells are produced and matured in the bone marrow, hence the name. B cells because the maturation of these cells occur in the bone marrow but uh, the, the, the literature say also says that since these cells were first discovered in the bird bursa fabricus hence the name B cells comes from that okay so the T cells they are produced in the bone marrow like the B cells but their maturation occurs in thymus so they are produced in the bone marrow but their maturation occurs in thymus. Okay, so this is the one difference. The another difference is that when these B cells are matured in the bone marrow, after that they migrate to the lymph node, and in the lymph node they actually stay outside, in exterior to the lymph node, in the outside of the lymph node. Whereas the T cells are actually interior to the lymph node. T cells are interior to the lymph node. Next thing is the, the receptor of B cells are called immunoglobulins and they are actually present on the membrane of the B cells, integrated to the B cells. Okay, B cell receptors are immunoglobulins, whereas the T cell receptors, they don't have any specific name like the B cells, uh, but they are, they are simply called T cell receptors. The next point is that these B cells actually they respond directly to the antigens that has drained into the lymph node. They respond directly to the antigens that are drained into the lymph node. But the T cells actually require antigen presentation. So what is it? Antigen presentation is the presentation of antigen together with the major histocompatibility complex by antigen presenting cells such as macrophages, natural cells, B cells, etc. So these T cell receptor will recognize the antigens that has already formed a complex with major histocompatibility complex MSC molecules and, and is actually presented to the T cell. But the B cell receptor, they directly bind to the antigens. These immunoglobulins, they directly bind to the antigens that has ran into the lymph node okay so next difference is after after the b cell has responded to the antigens now the b cell has been selected and it goes clonal expansions make the copies makes copies of itself and differences into plasma cell and memory b cells plasma cells and memory b cells Whereas the T cell, when after the T cell has been selected, clonal selection of the T cells has occurred. When this will occur, when they will recognize this presented antigen together with the MSC molecule, then they will also make the copies of themselves and they will differentiate into T helper cells, cytotoxic T cells, and memory T cells. Okay, differentiates into T helper cells, cytotoxic T cells, cytotoxic T cells, and memory T cells. Okay. So, so what is the function of this plasma cell? The plasma cell actually pumps out the antibodies and these antibodies go to the site of infection, okay? And they will confer humoral immunity, okay? They will confer humoral immunity. So coming to this side, this T helper cell, they are actually involved in chemical signaling. So what they will do, they will make, you know, they will produce cytokines and chemokines and actually these will stimulate B cells and other T cells. So that this is the function of uh, cytotoxic uh, T cells. Sorry, the T helper cells. Whereas the cytotoxic, cytotoxic T cells, they will kill both pathogen infected and self infected cells. Okay, and they will confer, hence they will confer cell mediated immunity. B cells will confer humoral immunity, whereas T cells will confer cell mediated immunity so i'm going to summarize this to summarize these differences between b cells and t cells so first b cells they are produced and matured in the bone marrow and the after the maturation they migrate to the lymph node and they are 
they, they are exterior to the lymph node, they stay outside of the lymph node and their receptors, the receptors of B cells are called immunoglobulins and they bind directly to the antigens that has run into the lymph node and once the B cell has been selected, it goes clonal expansions, makes copies and differentiates into plasma cells and memory B cells. These plasma cells pump out antibodies and these antibodies go to the site of infection and, conf conf and confer humoral immunity. Whereas T cells are produced in the bone marrow, but they mature in thymus. And they, since they mature in thymus, since the name T cells, they are interior to the lymph node. T cell receptor doesn't have a specific name. They are called T cell receptors. But the, for the T cell receptor to interact with the ant antigens, the, the antigen must be presented by antigen presenting cells together with this MSC molecule. This will be uh, this antigen plus MSC molecule will be, will be, then the T cell will interact with antigen plus MSC molecule. And once this T cell has been selected, it will also undergo clonal expansion and it will differentiate, the, the, the T cells will differentiate into T helper cell, cytotoxic, cytotoxic T cells and memory T cells. T helper cells are involved in chemical signaling and they, uh, by the cytokines and chemokines, they activate B cells and other T cells also. Whereas these uh, cytotoxic T cells are actually involved in killing pathogen infected and self infected cells, ultimately they confer cell mediated immunity. Thank you.